you know, AdSense rates are way higher in December than they are January. <laughs> really timed this poorly, huh? Classic Alec. I have been frustrated recently with a lot of things in my life, but one of the few that I actually have control over is this YouTube channel. I ranted about it at length in my video on turning 30, so I will spare you the repetition, but I'm annoyed and bored and need to change things up a bit. No, there is a usual way people like me do that, making rarer, longer videos less focused on a single subject and more on a broader topic or concept. And in the last two years, I did some of that. So now I'm going to do exactly the opposite. Barring tragedy or serious illness or whatever, I will be releasing a new video every single day in January of 2022, aka 2020 part 3. And at this moment, I don't know what 90% of them are going to be about, and that is neither a joke nor a hyperbole. I know just three of the 30 subjects I will be reviewing next month. On January 1st, Nicholas Winding Reference Neon Demon, the second, New York's Lady Bird Restaurant in the East Village, and the third, Nora Finkscheidt's System Crasher. Each a request from a longtime supporter on Patreon. The 27 that follow will be decided by you, collectively. Should be interesting, assuming people are actually interested in playing, and they sure might not be, but that is the game. I will have between 48 and 64 hours to experience and review each subject. That video's comment section will then serve as the decider for the subject three days later, this one not included. January 1st's collective choice will be reviewed on the 4th, 2nd on the 5th, etc. There will be a minimum of 12 hours between posting and selection, but if I'm timely and get videos up during the day as I hope to, you will have until I wake up the next morning, typically between 6 and 8.30 a.m. EST, to suggest subjects or like suggestions that others have made. At that point, I will choose the highest rated option that isn't otherwise disqualified. I'm assuming most of these will be about movies. That's great. I love talking about movies. But I'm not going to do more than three of those in a row, or 22 in total. I want other ideas, and I'm going to be way more open than I have been in the past. If it can be experienced in under three-ish hours and cost less than like $15, I'm in. Ever wanted to hear me talk about a specific album, or the concept of avocado toast, or even some YouTuber's exhaustively researched video essay that puts anything I've ever done to shame? Now's your chance. Each person gets one suggestion per video, and while accessibility is a factor, it shouldn't discourage you from suggesting interesting stuff. Just because I don't have a record player doesn't mean you can't suggest the latest vinyl pressing from your favorite indie band. If it is something that I cannot feasibly complete in the time frame, I'll let you know. And I mean, if you're looking for a start point, uh, here's a list of streaming services I subscribe to. Spotify, YouTube Premium, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Criterion Channel, Mubi, Shudder, Apple TV+, Discovery+, and HBO Max. Did something short drop on Xbox Game Pass? I got that too. If it's available at a Manhattan AMC, A-list has me covered. I don't know. Surprise me. But don't surprise me with works by credibly accused Predators or whatever, no Plansky, Allen, Kimki Duck, etc. If you don't understand why, you should watch more of my videos. Also, I reserve the right to refuse an otherwise feasible victor up to three times over the month. Inevitably, these videos will be shorter and less polished, but hopefully in an interesting way. With no time for careful consideration or second guessing, it will be a month of hot takes, at least a couple of which I'm sure will age terribly. But that's the game. I'm giving myself a 1,000 word upper limit, which for context is how long this video is. Maybe I'll break it if I really got to talk about something, but hopefully not, for my sanity's sake. One last note. It may have occurred to you that there are 31 days in January, but I said I'm doing 30 reviews. That's because January 7th is Shameless Self-Promotion Day, where I will be posting a new edit of the music video I did for my song about turning 30 since it hit streaming services that day. and. There's no public dislike count anymore, so who's gonna stop me? I'm not gonna do another review that day, but in the spirit of the experiment, I will start the re-edit from scratch and give myself the same window to get it done. Suggestions on that video will also be ignored. Everything will go back to normal on the 8th. I don't know 
how this will go. For any of us, I expect to alternately enjoy and abhor it. Hopefully y'all hang closer to the former. If nothing else, I will better understand my place on this platform. There is a very real chance I will come out the other side with fewer subscribers than I have now once the historically low stakes subscription overwhelms the feeds of people who have long since stopped caring about what I have to say. And to that point, Maybe people just aren't as interested in this idea as I am. It seems equally possible that I will have higher engagement than ever before and more suggestions than I know what to do with, or no one cares and I will run out of subjects before the halfway mark. Things are rarely so extreme, but then again, it might not matter because I could end up getting COVID or some other less popular illness and be rendered physically or mentally unfit to continue. The uncertainty makes it interesting. See you in January.